I'm on the Quebec New Hampshire border and uh, this hilltop view gives us a gives us a great uh, overview of the whole Megantic Valley of which uh, we have uh, our projects. So far behind me is the Momagantic and between Momagantic and here we have the Din Placer Channel, we have the Mining Brook, we have the Emberton property and uh, and just right down here we could also see the village of Chartierville. And uh, this area was similar to our Bose project, which is what about uh, 100 kilometers north of here, the, our Bose Gold project near Saint Simon les Mines. Similarities that this too had uh, in the 1860s a gold rush, uh, and to this day this area has attracts a lot of nugget hunters. And uh, but our interest here is basically to uh, to two things: um, is there undiscovered placer gold channels that could be uh, economical? And of course, the big question, where did all this gold come from? Behind me is the uh, Denton Sand and Gravel uh, deposit. Uh, it's, a, it's an active quarry. And it was, uh, it was here that uh, Pierre, the prospector Pierre Paquette um, led us to this site here. And uh, every sample we took from here contained gold. From uh, you know, gold flakes, grains, up to a nugget. Which is uh, quite fantastic and unprecedented. And. Um, this deposit is considered the eastern edge of the Ditton Placer Channel. So the eastern edge of the Ditton Placer Channel. So the channel goes from about here, behind me more or less, and it continues going west. And it's probably around 600, 700 meters uh, wide, with its deepest part being about 400 meters from here, which we're currently drilling as drill hole number one. Right now I'm at the drill hole number one. We're doing an overburdened drill campaign along the uh, Denton Placer Channel. Uh, right now we're on Anzis Road and uh, this drill hole is important because it was right across the street from here that we had the historical drill hole 857 drilled in 1885 which had gold over 10 meters, Placer gold. Now that hole never hit bedrock um, but it was considerable because basically every meter had gold in it. Now even when they took the, uh, the gold grains and the nuggets out uh, just the residue came back from the lab at two grams per ton, which uh, which is considerable. So, add the gold grains and nuggets. Um, yeah, should be a, should have been an interesting grade. So, we're going to see what we have. We're hoping to validate this with this hole right here. It being the deepest part, it's at the bottom. It's at the it's at the trough of the valley, and we're doing two other holes right next to each other, along with the other holes that we did areas that we did geophysics. Right here, this is our uh, bulk sampling processing station. And what we're currently doing, we're processing the 180, probably even close to 200 uh, bulk sampling that we took uh, all our sample sites around the Megantic property. With of course our concentration, our, our hidden placer channel. So uh, what, what we have going on here, we have an excavator with a claw. So the claw takes the barrel and we're using a high banker and we have an experienced wash operator which uh, basically washes out the sand and gravel. And it's going through the wash plant and through a sleuth. This. So the sleuth is to make a heavy mineral concentrate which basically would, would then will be sent to the lab for gold extraction. 